A food product regulated by the FDA may be labeled gluten-free if it does not contain wheat, rye, barley, or their crossbred hybrids like triticale, a gluten-containing grain, or it contains a gluten-containing grain or an ingredient derived from a gluten-containing grain that has been processed to less than 20 parts per million of gluten. It's so confusing. Never fear, the gluten-free professor is here to help you understand. The FDA gluten-free labeling law requires that if a manufacturer labels their product as gluten-free, that it must not contain wheat, rye, or barley, or any derivatives of those ingredients, or be processed to contain less than 20 parts per million gluten. This is what 20 parts per million looks like. This is 20 pieces of sand in a pile of 1 million pieces of sand. 20 parts of gluten per 1 million parts of food sample is an accepted standard in many parts of the world for products that are labeled gluten-free. But what does 20 parts of sand in 1 million actually mean when it comes to my son's breakfast? Let's break it down. We know that 20 parts per million is a suitable threshold for gluten-free products. Why? The FDA developed these standards based on two factors, sensibility of the tests to detect gluten in food and evidence-based research from clinical trials and analytical studies conducted by some of the most respected celiac disease experts in the United States and around the world. Let's take a look. While there are tests to detect as low as 5 parts per million gluten in food, there is lots of irregularity in the margin of error on these tests. If the level was set at 5 parts per million with a 10 to 20 percent margin of error, food manufacturers would have little flexibility to produce tasty and safe products. So the threshold is set based on making things taste good? Not exactly. This is where the science comes in. Research led by Dr. Alessio Fasano at the Center for Celiac Research shows that the vast majority of people suffering from celiac disease can have up to 10 milligrams a day of gluten with no reaction. Translated to parts per million, that is equal to more than one pound of gluten-free products containing 20 parts per million of gluten. This is what 10 milligrams looks like, one-eighth a teaspoon of flour, or 18 slices of bread with each slice containing 20 parts per million of gluten. Voluntary labeling. Now, it's important to remember that there are thousands of products in a grocery store that are naturally gluten-free or are manufactured using gluten-free ingredients that will not have a gluten-free label. You mean there are things that are gluten-free that don't say it on the package? Yes, the FDA law is a voluntary rule, which means that a company doesn't have to label their product as gluten-free unless they want to and have tested it to make sure it complies with the 20 parts per million standard. The bottom line is that you always need to check food labels. If there is any question, contact a manufacturer directly to find out how the product is made. Okay, so we understand the grocery store, but when we go to a restaurant that has a gluten-free menu, can we assume that the 20 parts per million rule applies to them as well? No. The 20 parts per million rule would only apply to the packaged goods a restaurant purchases that are labeled gluten-free. There is no rule requiring a restaurant to test the food they serve to customers. The gluten-free menu simply informs you that the restaurant has options they deem to be gluten-free. So how will we know if there is cross-contamination that is less than or more than 20 parts per million? There are no current laws regulating how a restaurant prepares and handles food in relation to gluten, which means you always need to ask questions to ensure your food is prepared in a safe way to prevent cross-contamination. Ah, got it. Let's recap what we learned today. The FDA gluten-free labeling law requires that if a manufacturer labels their product as gluten-free, that it must not contain wheat, rye, or barley, or any derivatives of those ingredients, or be processed to contain less than 20 parts per million gluten. The law is voluntary, 
so all gluten-free products may not have a specific gluten-free label. The 20 parts per million threshold was developed using high-quality scientific data that came from leading celiac disease experts. Thanks, Professor.